What's up, Shackles gang? This is Jalil Shackles, your advice guru, helping you to simplify your relationships. In this particular video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about why guys leave the toilet seat up. Now, I know a lot of girls are probably going to click on this video because they really want to know what's up. Well, everybody has a right to. And guys, you'll actually be able to understand why girls say, put the toilet seat down, or they start yelling about everything. So, as we know, guys have penises, and they are external genitals, but then again, everybody has them. Well, not penises, but you know what I mean. Basically, we have to point, aim, shoot. So when we point, aim, shoot, it doesn't necessarily go straight. A lot of times it either sprays like a, a skunk or like it'll go diagonal, actually hit the toilet seat or it'll hit your feet. It, it'll just do all kinds of stuff. The penis does what it does. And the problem with leaving it down is that we could get it on there and then the urination ends up on a girl's booty cheeks because they have to sit down whether they have to pee or poop and so a girl will say lift the toilet seat up but at the same time girls expect us to get the hint that we understand that when in most cases we don't if you don't provide reasoning we don't know and we can't catch hints on things that we don't actually understand we're like okay we know not to leave the toilet seat down because we accidentally get stuff on the seat and we don't have to worry about like getting the tissue roll and then wiping the whole seat down. Sounds like an extra process. You tell them direction, they'll go ahead and do it. You tell us what you need, we'll go ahead and do it. So when you say lift the toilet seat up next time, you're like, okay, they figure, well, why not? Lift the toilet seat up. So you go pee, cool. Then we go pee, we lift the toilet seat up and then we pee and then we walk away. And then in the middle of the night, you gotta go pee and you probably did, wasn't aware that we just went pee. The toilet seat is still up and then you fall into the bowl. Now your booty is soaked with water. And then you got swamp booty. Or as my cousin would say, swamp ass. So that is, I'm pretty sure it's not a good feeling. I don't think I would want to feel that. I'm just saying. But the fact that you don't address it and actually say, like, don't leave the toilet seat up. After you lift the toilet seat up to go pee, put it back down. That'll help a guy out because a lot of times the way we feel as men, we get one complaint from a girl, we try to fix it. And if it's not one thing, it's another thing. So then it feels like nothing ever gets resolved. So in this particular situation, if you want a guy to put the toilet seat down after he goes pee, say, hey, um, I don't want you peeing on the lid by any chances. So can you lift up the toilet seat when you go pee? And then after you finish, put it back down. Then that way, when I go into the restroom, I don't have to fall into the bowl. And at the same time, I don't have to sit on your little pee driplet and like freak out because I don't know whether it's water or pee. Honestly, I don't care. I just don't want it there. Hmm, that actually rhymed. I hope this answered your guys' question on this. Make sure you leave questions below on little miscellaneous questions. I'm definitely here to answer your questions to help you simplify your relationships. This is Jalil Shackles, your advice guru. Have a great day. Doises.